Hello everyone and welcome to Real Time Live. My name is John Martin and I'm with Reillusion, a real-time 3D animation and character creation digital human company. Today I'm here to show you character creator headshot and how we can create a digital character in a rapid, rapid way. In fact, you know, today digital humans are everywhere from films to games to immersive experiences and even virtual production. So imagine this. A director's asked us to create a new character for a previous scene, which we already have. However, there's a caveat. The character or the director has asked us to generate this using a single digital image, and they want to see something in 10 minutes. So sound familiar? Let's get started and see if we can fulfill the task, okay? So right inside Character Creator, this is a whole new plugin that we have that's an AI-powered plugin called Headshot. Headshot allows us to bring in a single digital image, which I'm going to switch to our pro mode here, and then I'm going to import uh, this single photo. And this can be a, something as simple as something you've taken from your iPhone, a JPEG, and then open that and bring it into Character Creator. Once we have that in there, we can generate the character by selecting the female, um, which we'll start with here for our actor, Tracy, and then also select the skin type. Now, from there, the machine learning inside what we have with Character Creator Headshot takes control. In fact, while we're talking a little bit about the process, we're gonna let Character Creator build this head in real time. Let's switch over and take a look at a little bit about what's going on in behind the scenes. Headshot allows us to generate rapid prototypes and actual fully rigged and ready to animate digital characters. There's two different modes. One is the auto mode that allows us to bring in a digital image and then in one click create this character with uh, a face morph as well as even generate a hair library off the single digital image. The pro mode, which we'll actually take a look at today, um, allows us to have full generation of the character using a set of super sculpting tools. So this is like a mix between what you would get if you were to go into a sculpting program like ZBrush, but with the absolute accessibility and quick creation of, of a tool that allows us to fulfill this, um, this expectation from our director. Um, ultimately, with these super sculpting tools, we'll be able to really dial in our character's look and uh, use the series of contour face and then f other facial feature um, uh, controls in order to generate the final look for our character. Character Creator Headshot just launched actually yesterday. So you're seeing brand new software that's, act that's available now for not only indies, for people that are curious, but definitely on the studio production line. Now, you can see from our fitting, we have a digital human that's, that's ready for us to start working with. And um, I'll just go ahead and pan around a little bit. This is our, um, our human base that we get started with. The character is fully rigged and ready uh, for us to uh, start working with once we finish the, um, the artistic side of curating the character. I'm gonna switch back to my face cam and let's dive in. Okay, once we've started, um, you can see that we've got a representation of the image that we've imported on the left-hand side. We can start by going into our Sculpt Morph tools. The Sculpt Morph tools, and I'll zoom in a little bit, allow us to start shaping the head. And so if I turn the head just a little bit to the side, I can start working with the depth, I can do the, uh, the uh, skull width there. I can also start working on the actual shape and refining that. So Tracy has a bit of a, um, blocked off jaw a little bit, we're gonna work with. We'll also uh, work on, on the profile. We're gonna bring the mouth section out just a little bit and then also section for the nose here too. And then we can switch over to the face controls. And these are where we can start diving into the actual sculpting of our character. So I'll zoom in a little bit more here and we'll take this chin, move it up uh, a bit like so, and we'll start working with the nose and work on our bridge of the nose here, like this. And then we can also go ahead and start to bring the ears out a little. And then 
zoom on in to the individual features. What you're gonna find with Character Creator is that there's actually over a thousand different morphs for you to be able to access. So you have ultimate control, but super ease of use to do it. And ultimately what we need is quick, right? So let's go ahead and uh, make a few more adjustments here to Tracy's face, like so. And I'm going to Go ahead and zoom in on the eyes here. Now, the creation modes inside Character Creator really enable us to um, react and iterate rapidly. So when we're on a production line and potentially the director or the art department hands us a new look for a character, we can respond, we can collaborate with that team and show them in a timely manner um, how we can develop our character. In fact, um, in, our, in our tool, we also have a way for you to excuse me, to go ahead and photo match the character. So we can bring that original photo back up and then we can start to look in between the photograph and then also the actual character that we're building so that we can get a representation how quickly this character's coming together for us. Now, there's a couple of things I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna leave this up a bit so I can see and I'm going to fix my ears a little bit more. And I also can tell um, when I zoom in, we have a small cleft in the chin. And this is an example here where I can show you where the morphs really come in handy even further. Um, so I can switch to my morph section, like so. I'm gonna turn off my um, active sculpt and then also my image match. And then I'm gonna go into the slider base morphs, which you can see if I scroll, we have a lot. And they're all separated by different types of the body. So wherever you click on, wherever you highlight, you get a morph that you can start to work with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a chin cleft. Click here. And then I can use the slider bar to do that and we'll see a, a, a cleft appear. I can also just do a numerical value if I want to have that a little bit stronger on our character's face. Now. Let's uh, take a look at uh, being able to add more attributes to our actor. We've got a face set up that I'm pretty good with to go on our real-time character. Now, again, she's already uh, fully rigged for animation. All these character bases are. Once we've got that done, let's go ahead and add some more design. We have a wardrobe system as well as a full hair system inside Character Creator. And so our director can have a fully uh, done character, not just the face for, for her to see. So what we'll do now is we'll switch over to our content section. And in the content section, we can uh, turn on our character's hair, like so. And then I'm gonna select a hair for her and we can just click and drag onto uh, the stage and then that will automatically be populated. And then for the clothing, um, remember we already have a scene. So we're gonna hot swap the clothing. We just wanna take the clothing from this character and put it on the other character to make it really fast. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my, um, I'll go back to my character here that I want to swap out. And here she is, this is my original actor. And I'm just gonna drag and drop on, and I'm gonna say replace costume. And so that's automatically gonna allow us to uh, dress the character for the scene appropriately, um, as the art department has you know, painstakingly made sure that we will do exactly right. So to follow um, everyone's instructions, then we can have the character fully set up and ready for the look for our scene. Now, Let's go ahead and go and take a look uh, one more time at those photo matching tools uh, with Headshot and see how we look um, with our final character look before we go into animation. So um, I'll go back and turn on the um, uh, image matching tools and then let's open up the opacity again and take a look in between. I think our director might be kind of happy here if we get a chance to show him. So let's go ahead and get this character exported. Where do our characters go? The character might, uh, for this instance, we have a scene that we're doing the previs inside uh, Reillusion's iClone. And this is our real-time 3D animation software. However, where can our digital humans go? Anywhere they want. 
that's where they can go. So they can go to Unreal Engine directly from here to Unity, to any d digital content creation tool, Maya, and so on. You can take these characters and then export them with FBX ready for those engines. If we wanted to take this character directly um, into our, um, our scene though, um, then we have the ability to um, have her set up for um, motion capture even. Uh, but in this instance, we have a scene that has animation already done. Now, in order to get this character in there and then not disrupt our animation that we already have, what we'll do is we're basically just gonna hot swap that character right in the scene and then she's already gonna have the animation um, attached. So, we've got our, our character exported and we'll go to our scene here and then just click and drag. Now the scene um, that we have set up here, we're not shooting for final pixel, we're doing some exploration here. And this is, again, really speaks to the nature of what real time means for us on the production line and in studios to these days. Sure, it's a great tool for visualization, but what it really is is, is a tool for communication. It allows our teams to collaborate, to innovate and iterate and change and, and really develop our scenes faster. Now. So let's call the director over and say, hey, have a look. We've got something for you to see and show them what we've got. You're the only person I've ever known who actually has the touch. As hard as it was for me to believe at first, it's obviously real. So I don't understand. You want to study me for what? Your school project? Because I've already had the talk with a bunch of doctors and I'm not going to do the lab rat thing with the constant testing and- Miguel, we've been friends since grade school. I'm not going to treat you like some volunteer off campus. Yep. Thanks. So you can imagine, right? 10 minutes, put this on the production line in the studio, and uh, take it through the entire paces. You'll be able to uh, create your digital humans and take them further and further with real-time animation with character creator headshot. So thanks again. Uh, much appreciation to everyone here in Australia for hosting SIGGRAPH Asia and Real Time Live. And uh, certainly a big applause for our, our wonderful host, Mike Seymour. Thanks, John.